Hey, what's going on guys? Welcome back to another video. Hope all is well. Despite being out with an injury, Travis Hunter was a difference maker in this game. He didn't play, but he was coaching. We all know that he wear many hats. He's a defensive specialist and he also play in the slot. He's also a leader on the team. But yesterday's game against USC, he was a coach. And it was because of him that Omarion Cooper stayed in the game. It wasn't the coaches, it was Travis Hunter. And it's on video. Let's talk about it, stay tuned. Guys, please do me a favor. Before we get into this video, please give us a like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also hit the bell notification so you can get updated on my latest content as it drops. All of that will be greatly appreciated by me. Hey guys, before we get started, do me a favor, go into the description section of this video. There you will find a list of all the players on the Colorado team that have YouTube pages. Make sure you check them out and subscribe today. Travis Hunter was a difference maker in this game. There was a point in the game, it was on a well-off media clip. I know some people pointed it out to me on my live chat. They said, Max, it was because of uh, Travis that Omarion Cooper stayed in the game. And there was a section in that um, well-off media clip where Travis said, I told you to keep him in the game. I'm not gonna play it because it was some cuss words, but he was being very emotional, which is understandable. He wants to play out there, but he played a major role on that team. He he told them to keep Omarion Cooper in. They wanted to, believe it or not, the coaches wanted to take him out of the game. But Travis Hunter, being the vocal leader he is, just being the overall leader that he is, he told them to keep him in the game. He said, this guy can help. He's a dog. And guess what happened? Omarion Cooper stayed in the game and he played an integral role in them coming back. He played his ass off. And also at one point, you could see Travis Hunter on the sidelines talking to the freshman, extraordinaire five-star out of high school, Kermani McLean. You know he was giving them all types of tips. And we all know what Kermani McLean did in that video. I mean, in that game, excuse me. It is my opinion that Kermani was put in the game. They thought that he was gonna fail. That's just my opinion on it. But he actually proved the coaches wrong and he went out there and had a solid game because Kayla Williams really didn't look his way, but maybe a couple times. And Kermani stepped up to the plate and he had a really awesome game. The play calling at the end, I must admit, it was very questionable. If you don't have any timeouts left, why are you running the ball? Knowing that you have an opportunity to score with Omarion Cooper on the field. Also, Jimmy Horn had the hot hand. Also, the tight end, Michael Harrison. Why are you running the ball? That's a question for the offensive coordinator. But I just wanted to give that to Travis. He played a major role in this game. Even though he didn't play, he still was effective. And I had said this before the game. I said, Travis, just him being on the field is going to give them um, a huge edge and advantage. He wasn't on the sidelines in the last game because of travel. I'm sure he couldn't travel because of his injury. But he wasn't just on the sidelines just being silent. He was actually uh, rooting the team on, and, that, and that's to be commendable. But that is my opinion on it. What say you? Drop a comment below. I'll see you next video. Take care. Thanks for watching, guys. But before you go, please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Also, hit the bell notification so you can get updated on my latest content as it drops. If you have any video ideas, feel free to leave a comment below. Take care.